Hello there. So yeah, welcome to this video, which is the types of Warhammer 2 players. Now, we all know that Warhammer 2 has been out for many years, and the people that play it, they are diversified in their opinions and the ways that they think and the ways they approach the game. So I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video showing some of these types of players and uh, just expose them for what they really are. Now, in all seriousness, I just thought it'd be a fun video to show the different stereotypes in the community, if you will, and uh, just poke fun of them a little bit. And don't worry, I made fun of everyone equally enough, even myself, uh, I'm definitely in it. See if you can spot which one is me, and of course, if you spot which one is you or anyone that you know, then be sure to leave that in the comments down below because, you know, helps out the SEO, can't go wrong with that. But yes, this isn't a personal attack on anyone if you see some similarities to any person's living on dead, purely coincidental, I assure you, no one has been specifically picked out here and put to be the example of this exact type of play. It's all purely coincidental and uh, you can't tell me otherwise. That's all for me, I'm gonna pass you over to pre-recorded and edited myself doing these things because you know i don't have any friends i'm in lockdown so i can't get any actors so it's all me performing these stereotypes so i do hope you enjoy the video i'll see you later who are the asshole an enigma to men and dwarfs who know them as high elves okay this game is pretty cool at the center of the great ocean lies Althuan, a paradise created by the Old Ones. Oh wow, living on donut, that is awesome. Humbly beg of your attention, Prince Tyrion. Jesus, this guy's huge! Look at him next to Selman. Battle is upon you, Prince Tyrion. Okay, I have to fight this guy, well, uh, let's give it a try, I guess. Select your whole army so that the order may be given to all. Okay, so if I move my units into a big line like this, then there's no possible way they can get around me, right? right? So the Lord is the most important unit, so I want to take him out first. So if I send everything after him, it should be good. Champion of Alaria. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh God, there's so many units. Oh God, oh God, what is happening? Oh God. Okay, that didn't go as planned, but at least it's over. Let's just move on with the campaign. Okay, need to build a building. Um, hmm. Mm. Okay, this one seems good. Okay, I need these lands over here because, you know, I kind of want to take the whole donut. So do I just go to war with this guy? That that seems like the only way to get the lands, right? Kill them. One pair of pants later. Champion of the Ever Queen. Bring oh. Okay, this battle. could be going better. I, I need some help. Colonel Dam Dam does. Welcome to part one of my High Elf Race Guide. In this section, we'll be covering the campaign. Interesting. So I've got to the end game, and I have all these units to choose from, and I just can't really decide what to pick. I'm thinking like a healthy mix of some melee and some ranged infantry, and then some cavern artillery to back them up. Well, actually, the most efficient way to build your army is to have your lord and then 19 of this bullshit unit that can do everything. Then, during the end turn, you want to mesh backspace so the enemy can't move at all and you can do whatever you want. Surely that takes like all of the fun and variety out of the game. Now, if the devs didn't want to play this way, they won't put it in the game, mate. I mean, I, I guess so. That It just doesn't really feel perfectly balanced. No, not really. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna mose in over here, besiege the Salmons. Okay, those odds. Okay, it's about 50-50, so I should probably wait until I get better odds. I'll bring the Rami in, but I just don't really have the time. I don't want the three reinforcements. And I mean, I could just get rid of it now and then I won't have to worry about it later on. I mean, I could fight the battle manually. Oh, you know, it's 50-50 on art resolve. I'll probably just lose, you know, some infantry, some monsters. Maybe my Lord will get a little bit damaged, so it shouldn't really be the end of the world, right? Well, shit. Ooh, baby. It's like the world is on our side. Okay, let's see what the hype is about. Wait, what, what are these factions? Phoenixes? Monsters? I mean, what, what is this? This is a total war game. This isn't World of Warcraft. I am Prince and Emperor. Okay, finally a faction that isn't total bullshit. Later that same evening. Oh, come on now. Why bring this in later? Why bring in monsters and magic when it can just be a historical type faction? Right, screw this. I'm going back to when Total War was great and realistic. Let's see what I can find to spice up the old girl. 
Well, if you can't beat them, join them. So I was just playing some dwarves earlier and the green skins are just giving me such a hard time. Like as soon as I move south, boom, they are just straight. Oh, yeah. What difficulty are you playing on? Normal. But anyway, so I'm yeah, I'm playing the dwarves and the second I go south, the green skins are on me. Fucking normal? Are you a toddler? Legendary difficulty or bust. Total War is a man's game. So if you can't play legendary beastmen campaigns, then you don't deserve to play the game. Okay, but can't you play the game like that? And you know, I play the game how I want to play. I mean, it's a... It's a single player game, so surely you know. No, there is one way and one way only to play the game. Why is that sound in the back? What, what are you doing? Are you like whacking off or something? Nothing. Hey, sweet dinners. Brave men of the Empire, I know you are scared. I know the mountain of chaos in front of us seems impassable. I know it's an impossible task that I have laid ahead of you, but let me tell you one thing. You have courage in your hearts, your families at home, and order. You have Sigma at your back, and we will win this day. Not only because we have trained for this, not only because we were born and made for this, but because Sigma demands it. So charge, noble men, for those families, for that order, for Sig- Oh. Hey, Mom, so, um, yeah, just want to tell the dinner's ready. Ooh, tendies. Ooh, you suck. So there we go, that concludes this video for the different types of Warhammer 2 players. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't get too offended. You know, I was trying to trying to push the boundary a little bit, but not upset anyone. So yes, I do hope I managed to find that sweet spot and that you enjoyed this video without um, wanting to kill me. Um, if you did enjoy this video, then definitely be sure to leave it a like. You know, if you didn't want to kill me, then be sure to leave it a dislike. You know, it, it really does help me know how exactly I'm doing. Uh, again, as I mentioned at the start, if you see yourself in any of these stereotypes, then be sure to leave that down in the comments below. See so if you can spot which one was me. I think it's pretty obvious which one was me, since, you know, it was kind of using this whole setup right here from this exact camera angle with the green screen behind me. Um, but let me know either way, you know, it could be more challenging and slightly different than you think. So if you did enjoy this video and want to see more, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel. I make strategy gaming content, mostly focused on Total War, mostly focused on Total War Warhammer, pretty much every single week. I'm trying to make more content, um, but as, a, as I'm sure you're all aware, life's hard. <laughs> but yes, I'm definitely doing my best, so be sure to subscribe for some epic gamer content. One last plug here, don't know if you caught the community post, but on the Discord, I've introduced a bunch of roles so now when you go into there if you react to the role which is in hashtag select your role with a question mark at the start you can choose a faction from Warhammer 2 to represent within the server i'm going to be trying to run in some tournaments by using these teams so definitely join the discord and definitely be sure to join one of the teams so that you can take part in that when the event arises otherwise you'll be able to take part because you know it's kind of how it works i don't know exactly how these tournaments are going to work or what exactly they're going to be but rest assured i am that they will happen at some point probably maybe if you look it i don't know we'll see yes thank you very much for watching the video that's all from me have a fantastic day i've been your boy colonel Anders, and i'll see you next turn go out my gamers <laughs>